forces of good and forces of evil that have operated throughout history. And there's always a battle between good and evil. And evil seeks to get control of the high places so that it can overpower good. But good is stronger. And I do what I do because I love my family, I love my children, and I love your children. I want them to have a good future. And, you know, that's why I can't buy into all the racism stuff, even though it's tribal and feels good, because I care about everybody's children. And it's not just because I'm naive or simple, that I'm not a hard, cold-blooded social Darwinist. It's because it's my hard wiring, and it's what my instincts and my gut tells me is the right thing to do. Does that mean that I don't know that there aren't groups that hate me because of where I live or what color I am? Yes. Does that mean that I won't oppose some of those groups that collectively get together to take my liberties? No, I'll oppose them, but I will scientifically point out that they're under programming and part of a gang. They play nations off against each other, the globalists do, but in the final equation, it is a corporatist, eugenicist-based system that is anti-human and that studies how humans operate and basically cheats and manipulates us against each other. And I don't want to be part of that. And so I uh, make the hard decisions, even though they're not politically correct, uh, and speak out against the corruption of the New World Order. Because there is a method to the madness of the globalist. It's cogent at one level, but at a deeper level, it is insane. It is pure death, uh, the course that we're on. And if you just joined us, I... Um, Covered this a little bit with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts in the last hour. It's the top story at InfoWars.com, and it's chilling. It's C-SPAN uh, with uh, senior economists at the IMF and World Bank saying they need to stage a terror attack. We played the clip. And, you know, need to get nasty and blame it on Iran to get a war going. He says we need to go ahead and just start a big war. And they think the public's so dumb that once that starts, uh, they'll um, think you're too stupid to even know why it started. And they know the prostitute media will not ever explain what happened. And they're talking about something that most analysts say will be a giant regional war and drive gas up to eight, nine, ten dollars a gallon, bankrupt the country. And, and then a 30, 40 percent chance it'll start World War Three. They got the fleets lined up off China. They got the forces massing. You've got China threatening to nuke the U.S., Russia threatening. They didn't even do that during the Cold War. And meanwhile, people are like, hey, man, you see the referees? Yeah, they, uh, the referees, you know, the referees aren't doing a good job at the NFL. And when you listen to this guy in a minute and a half clip, it's up at InfoWars.com and PrisonBody.com. It'd be one thing if he said this in private, and that'd be evil enough with a bunch of serious criminals. But to say it openly, knowing most people are in a brain-numbed or brain-dead coma, induced hypnosis. We're, the public's under mass hypnosis. I mean, medically, that's in mainline medical journals. That's in the BBC. That's not my opinion. I mean, I'm not just saying that. You've got a giant mass of people under hypnosis. you got the elite themselves are under their own hypnosis. They're smoking their own dope. Dr. Roberts agreed with me last hour. That's the f father of Reaganomics. That's the former editor of the Wall Street Journal agreeing with me. And I remember him on the show seven, eight years ago. He thought I was in way out in left field on most stuff. And now he's like, yes, you have to come to InfoWars to find out the truth. Because it is the truth. I've made this my life to know what's going on. And it's not hard. The globalists all brag in public. It's like this new thing. There's hundreds of cases where they write books saying they stage the attacks. Uh, I'll never forget, we could dig this up. Watson can add it. I remember like six years ago, uh, there was that big scandal where the top former generals were being paid by the Pentagon, some of them a half a million a year, to go out and push police state stuff and wars. And they even released a, a, a junior reporter that was in there with them, one of their minions, of the generals. And this got leaked by a whistleblower. We played it on air. It was in the news. But they didn't point out how big a deal it was that it's the five generals, former generals in there with Rumsfeld, and they're like, you know, 9-11 really helped us, sir. We need another one right now. Are we going to have one? You can pull this up. Rumsfeld, you know, talks about new 9-11 with generals. He's like, I know, but it's just hard right now. It's hard right now. I mean, they're, they're not even one micron of denying what they're talking about. 
There's just, can we please have one of those? And Rumsfeld's like, it's hard right now. It, knowing, yeah, because people like Alex Jones and are risking their lives to come out and say it's an inside job. And so many good old boys are like, I was talking to one of these deer hunters this weekend. I mean, we weren't deer hunting, but he was down there getting a stand and stuff ready. Who a year ago, you know, this veteran engineer, you know, not, nice fella, you know, smart guy. Uh, and a year ago, he said, I know government stage stuff, but I just can't, I, I just don't want to believe it. And, and then I explained, no, 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 globalists run the radical Muslims, and sometimes they really stage stuff, sometimes they let them do it, but now do you understand because they're running Al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria? And he goes, yeah, now I understand. And then my uncle's talking about CIA drug dealing in Vietnam, and here's this guy who was in Vietnam. I'll just leave it at that in classified areas. He's going, yep, it's all true, yep, yep. So see, it's like once people just admit it, yeah, okay, they did 9-11, yeah, the government brings the drugs in. You know, it's like they know, they all know, they were there. They all know. And it's not like it's only a few of them that know. I've got a great uncle, you know, it's stuff you wouldn't even believe. Well, I guess you would believe it. You've seen a movie like The Package with uh, Gene Hackman? Stuff like that in Chicago, even in the same city. It's like, wow, I've heard this story before. You know, it, 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 it's just crazy how wild reality is. And at the end of the package, a, a listeners kept calling and saying I should see that movie. I hadn't seen it. It was made back in the 80s. Gene Hackman looks at the colonel and says, you know what? You're part of a different army than I am. And I don't want to get off into it. It's just, it's, 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 it's just, there's good and there's evil, folks. And there isn't, it's not that the Russians are evil or America's evil or the Israelis are evil or the Germans are evil or the Iranians are evil. There's corrupt people in charge of all these countries. By their very nature, they don't get into power unless they're ruthless and they're competing with all these other ruthless people. So it just becomes, it just becomes par for the course. And then... Groups the globalists are partnering with start kidnapping little kids, not just running, running sex slaves, not just running, you know, 18 year old women, which is bad enough. Now it's little kids and now it's blow their heads off. You know, I mean, that's in the news that UN and NATO groups get little kids, rape them and then blow their heads off. I mean, you know, stuff like that. I don't even want to get into it on air. You can go look it up. I mean, you know, it's like, how far can you go all the way to hell? That's the thing about evil is, oh, the government deals the drugs, big deal, somebody's going to use it anyways. Next, it's, oh, somebody's going to kidnap little kids and torture them and blow their heads off. So, you know, the government might as well control that. And, you know, we need to control it so we can limit it. You know, that's always the excuse. <clears throat> no, the truth is, you people are demons. And you're now you're trying to start World War III. Why not? I mean, you got some guy that looks like he's in a $500 suit with wrinkles all over it, up there with a bunch of men giggling, going, we can start killing people. We can stage something and start this war right now. And everybody's saying, ha, 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 ha. You, uh, let me tell you, man, you think in Soviet or Nazi war rooms, even though they were evil, they were sitting around joking? No, they weren't joking. It was very serious. I mean, you guys are a joke. You're going to, even if you were evil, you're not... You've inherited the power structure that Americans built that's become corrupted. You didn't build this, Jack, and you sure are running it into the ground, though. You're running it into the ground. Let me tell you, I've never seen anything more frightening than this little World Bank operative up there giggling and snickering and laughing about staging the murder of people to get us into a war. They'll kill Americans, folks, and then get us into a war, and they think they're, they're, they're so powerful, they admit the crimes in public. By the way, we've invited Dr. Pachenik back on the show, and he has not agreed to come back on yet. So that's out there, by the way. He, he would have already been on the show, uh, bringing this type of stuff up. You know, we have the courage to put him on the show last week and to just put Paul Craig Roberts on and cover this. And believe me, it does take courage because if these people will get up on TV and talk about staging fake terror attacks, folks, they'll do anything. And as a man, I've got to resist this because these people will blow the face of the earth off. They will make this planet uninhabitable if they get their way. 
and see, you got to come to that point, folks. You got to get past what your neighbors think. You got to get past even losing your life because if you're not willing to give your life up for freedom, the tyrants will take over. If you stand down, they're going to occupy. You got to go at this 110%. That doesn't mean recklessly, but you you know you've got to you've got to resist it. People got to choose sides. And me, I choose. I'm against World War Three. I stand with the Pentagon, who's been blocking this Iran nonsense since Cheney wanted to blow up our own ships and blame it on Iran, and that came out in New Yorker magazine. Why do you think senior White House advisors told Seymour Hersh, Pulitzer Prize winner, that? Because they're trying to stop this. The people at the CIA and the people in the Pentagon, there's a fight going on. The real government's trying to stop this from happening. And it's not even because most of them are perfectly moral good guys. They understand, folks, you go shoving the Russians around, they'll have a war with you. It doesn't matter if they're corrupt and falling apart. You go start fights with the Chinese that we've totally built up. And again, it's like, it's like the globalists have put Al-Qaeda in charge, and now Al-Qaeda is attacking them. You put the Chinese communist in charge, give them the ICBM MERV technology, Laura Allen Hughes, and now the globalists want to start a fight with them. It's insanity. Oh, God. It totally freaks me out. To watch that video because it's it'd be one thing if it was clandestinely filmed and it was some cold-blooded guy up there saying it's a dangerous program but we believe we need to do this and uh, you know uh, it needs to be staged it'd be bad enough but it's like <laughs> we'll just stage something <laughs> like a skexy or something out of the dark crystal it isn't funny people like that will cause World War Three ladies and gentlemen because it's exciting to them. You know, I've learned about criminology. So many psychopaths and criminals, they do wilder and wilder stuff until they get caught. They're crying out to be caught. On television, they, they believe their own propaganda. I mean, oh, man, I tell you. Before I plug some other news here that's important. I want to plug the magazine. They're going quick. Last time they sold out in 36 hours. If you want the new October issue, DARPA, the real Skynet, October surprise, war, question mark, the end of humanity, rise of the robots. This is an emergency transmission. It blows away the last issue. If you subscribe, though, you can get the first issue. We save some back for subscribers. $59.95. That includes shipping. Nobody can beat that deal. 13 issues delivered to your door for $59.95. Or you can buy them in bulk at cost, 10 for 14.95 and so on. International, it's a little bit more because of the shipping. Um, but again, you can sign up at InfoWarsStore.com. And again, I hope to back off their World War III plans. You know, it came out that four years ago, what former top CIA analyst Ray McGovern told us indeed was going on. That Cheney was trying to stage a terror attack to get us into war. That got backed off. We got called fear mongers for saying the war with Iran is on. Turned out it was on. Uh, it was on again last year with the fake assassination attempts of the Saudi ambassador in New York. That turned out that was fake. We're trying to stop it now. They've had three chairman of the Joint Chiefs, two heads of CENTCOM, or is it even more, resign saying they're being ordered to launch attacks. And then the neocon mouthpieces are like, don't listen to Alex Jones and others. There's not going to be a war. No, you just invaded all these countries and are launching proxy wars against Syria, Libya, I Iran, everything else. And on TV saying you've already launched proxy wars, giggling about it. Oh, no, there's no danger of a war. So we'll just go, oh, there's no danger of a war. So we'll just shut up and let them all do it. And then if we stop the war, oh, see, there wasn't a war. Oh, Alex, there's no TSA on the streets of America. Boom, they're all over the streets. Oh, big deal. We need them. <clears throat> Alex, there's no secret experimentation. I mean, even though there is, don't be a fear monger. This is what they do to get you to stand down and have learned helplessness and suspended mass psychosis of mass Stockholm syndrome and normalcy bias. And, and folks, if you don't know what those terms are, you better look them up.
Because our ruling elite are like Hitler turning east to go fight the Russians in 1943. Or Napoleon doing it in 1810 or whatever it was. This is not good. And it's all because these crazy bankers who have built an empire on delusion and they're quadrillions of, of fake debt, they believe they're unstoppable. They believe they're all powerful. They We're repeating history. The New World Order is so good at running our lives, so good at poisoning our water, so good at dumbing us down. But they can't run themselves. <laughs> See, that's the thing. They're not in control themselves. They're going to destroy themselves and us along with them. So I got to say, the Pentagon's doing a good job trying to stop all this. But there's a fight going on with a minority of people in the Pentagon that want to start World War III. And they got a bunch of so-called Christians who want to get World War III going because they think it's going to make Jesus come back. I mean, you talk about Jim Jones stuff writ large. You people are out of your minds. You think you're going to tie yourselves to a rocket and, and, and eject out of here? When you start World War III, think again, I've read the Bible, that ain't in there. The rapture's after all this happens, but your preachers are bought and paid for. It doesn't matter. It's like every Christian group, every time they're getting slaughtered the last hundred years, they think it's the rapture and they stand down and just get killed. I mean, I, they did it with Hitler. They did it with Stalin. They, the Ukrainian Christians did it. Uh, Christians in uh, Cambodia stood down thinking it was the rapture. And I, I'm tired of it. Even if the rapture was coming, you think God's going to say he knows you? If, if, if all this evil's going on and you just hide in fear because you're afraid and just, oh, praise God, things are getting bad. It's the end of the world, 2012. Talk about evil. I mean, does your spirit, does your gut, that's what your gut is, does it tell you that you're going to be safe just hiding and going to your little church that tells you, now, on your neighbors, Roman 13, it's of the Lord. The government loves us. No, the government's a bunch of devil-worshipping demons. And if you serve this government, you're, you might as well just swear allegiance to Satan. Unless you work within the government to stop what's happening. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find it at InfoWarsShop.com, Non Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Napa ch chalk suspect assigned public defender. They've given her felony charges, charge for writing YouTube Building 7, the, the building they publicly blew up and said they were going to blow up in front of everyone. They said, get back, we're going to bring it down, set on the news, it had fallen on its own footprint before it even did. That's called jumping the gun. We had her on for 45 minutes on the nightly news last night. That interview and video is up at InfoWars.com if you want to go watch it. Nice young lady. No, uh, no criminal record. She's coming on the radio with an update tomorrow. And they're going ahead with the prosecution. They say it's, uh, it's a felony vandalism to draw with chalk. Children are allowed to, but your political speech... You're, and the judge said, I don't want to hear it from you. We want to put you in jail. It's all there. I mean, and, and it's like, and, and like the media is like, it's a waste of taxpayer money. No, it's not. Drive the scum American into submission. Destroy free speech. Destroy America. That's why I'm announcing. I meant to get to it today. I ran out of time in this hour. I'm going to go out uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to chalk all over Austin, and I'm telling people all over, if you believe in the First Amendment, if you feel as I feel, we've got to use the First Amendment or lose it. Then get out there. People are like, the liability, Alex, of telling people to go chalk. Yeah, look, it's free association. we got to exercise the First Amendment. Okay? I mean, I'm going to go out and do it. 
as part of Free Speech Week, and I'm going to film the TSA, which, by the way, is not illegal to do. We've got an article out on that. We're going to let these government scum know that we're not their property. They're trying to take us over. They, they farm us like they're food now. They work for foreign banks. They're collaborators. Those aren't just words, folks. I come to you from FEMA Region 6 under the Rural Council. I don't live in America anymore. I'm mad about it. I don't care how much PR and propaganda you got that you're good. The government is run by murdering child molesters, okay? Homeland Security, all of them run the white slavery rings. And I will not be part of it, you murderers. And all of you that work for it, that, that, that think it's good and serve it and get off on the power trip, you might as well kneel to Satan right now. If you work for the system and quietly resist it, that's, that's fine. That's honorable. But if you love it and you're like a pig wallowing in a bunch of mud, then, then you are disgusting. Man, if you don't know this is tyranny, you're blind. Spiritually. <clears throat> it makes me sick. It makes me sick. I never got to, you know, you're a conspiracy theorist. If it's up at Infowars.com, we added a bunch to the Liberty Blitzkriegs. If you're capable of critical thinking, you're one. You distrust mainstream media, you're one. You like nature, you're one. You think it's a good idea to spend Friday night and Thanksgiving with your family rather than camping outside Best Buy to get cheap plasma television made by slaves in China. You think it's a little strange WTC7 came down at free fall speed on 9-11 that was not hit by a plane. You think the drones in America might not be for Al-Qaeda. Uh, you would like to be able to get on a plane without having to engage in mandatory uh, radiation bath and digital strip surge. You have read a book in the past year. You think you have a right to protest. You think the war on terror is a scam. You think the war on drugs is a scam. You think that the uh, anger directed America of the Middle East could possibly be related to a foreign policy rather than having how amazingly free we are. You think the Republicans and Democrats are exactly the same on important issues affecting our country. You think that believing in the Constitution does not constitute a terrorist act. You have heard of the Bill of Rights and even name one or some of them. You have questioned uh, whether the government loves you. You think the right to bear arms is not for hunting, rather so citizens can fight back so the government become a bunch of tyrannical thugs. And it just goes on from there. And Paul Watson added a bunch of his points to it. Well, Paul and I did this morning, so we've expanded on it. And we want you to add your points underneath it at InfoWars.com. And PrisonPlanet.com will take the best ones and add it into a new one tomorrow as a new meme to say you're a conspiracy theorist if you don't think sodium fluoride admitted at the levels that's in the water gives you brain damage in a Harvard study. If you don't think it's good, you're bad. And I'll announce this properly tomorrow, but get this out to everybody right now. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.